Look, thank you very, very much for this. Initially, a lot of people were obviously very, very confused. It's, it remains an incredible mystery what's taking place here. People, I think, willing to accept the police's line. They're absolutely sure, as sure as they can be, that she's gone into the river, etc. And here we are 17 days on. And I think now the microscope kind of focuses in a little bit on the police, doesn't it? And whether or not they've got this right. So... What's your take on how the police have handled this investigation so far, from what we know? Um, hi, Patrick. There's, there's nothing worse than uh, a nine o'clock jury, but mm. there are some glaring issues in this case, one of which is, uh, actually, we only know what we know because we're told it's in the public domain. They haven't held a press conference since Friday, to my knowledge, uh, which is quite odd. Um, certainly with high profile cases like this, Madeleine McCann, Sarah Payne, so on, the police are trying to keep this in the public eye, trying to hold a press conference or two press conferences a day. Uh, and we seem to have gone very quiet on that front. Um, and equally on the press handling of this case, normally in a case like this, you would have a senior officer and assistant chief constable running the media strategy, al allowing the search and detective experts to try and find Nicola. So there, there are some glaring what appear to be glaring errors in this case. Um, and as you say, after 17 days, people start asking questions. I'm, I'm certainly asking questions. Well, go on, go on. What, 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 what questions are you asking, OK? In your experience as a police crime commissioner, what stands out for you as areas of concern into the way that the police have gone about looking for Nicola Bully? There are three, really. Uh, obviously, uh, I uh, ran the Sarah Payne case with several other officers. Um, and I was an advisor at Soham, and what you learn on big cases like that, Madeleine McCann is another, is that there are three mantras that you have to stick to. The first one is respect the golden hour. Um, mm. Forensic evidence and witness memory fades very quickly, and you need to capture that in the first 24 hours. And they don't seem to have done that, and now suddenly we're hearing that they're going back to try and get CCTV from 17, 18 days ago. Uh, and there's, they've resumed door to door, house to house, which frankly is just bizarre. Um, that should have been done on day one. The second area for me is clear the ground under your feet, another mantra that unfortunately went wrong at Soham because the police set their forward control centre up in the school where Huntley lived and subsequently yeah. we found out the bodies of the girls were kept. Um, the police here don't appear to have cleared the ground under their feet either. Uh, I would have expected that bench, the famous bench where the phone was found, mm. to go uh, straight to a laboratory to be tested for blood splatters and hair. Can I can um, I ask what what is actually... what what is yeah exactly that? But but is this a case potentially potentially? By the way, at this point, I will make it very clear: we have gone to Lancashire Police for a comment. We are yet to hear back. So there we go. But is this potentially a case of police having an initial hypothesis? backing it maybe a bit too much and then now thinking, oh, we've stuffed up a bit here and wanting to do all they can to try to just reaffirm that initial hypothesis. And, and that really, possibly to the detriment of Nicola's partner, her kids, her friends, etc. So you, your um, comment is a fair comment, is all I'd say. Um, they have put themselves in a corner by ruling out a third party and ruling out crime. Um, actually, what they need to do now, 17 days in, especially as the criticism is starting to rise, they should appoint a new senior officer, a senior detective, to overview this case, uh, and they should call in an outside force to review their actions, pick up best practice and pick up learning points, because actually the Bully family deserve better than this. Um, we haven't found Nicola, and we could be in this now for the long haul. This could be a Madeleine McCann. But actually, if we're going to say to the Bully family, I'm sorry, but three months down the line, we still don't know where your, your daughter or your wife is, your partner or your yeah. mum, we have to be able to say we've done everything. And frankly, I don't think they have done everything on what I've seen in the public domain.